Welcome back to the channel. It's actually been a very long time since I've brought you a video upload, but we've got a live one, folks. Marty, Karate Marty, did you see that live last night? He tells some stories, doesn't he? So I've put them nicely together. And we can all have a little story time with Martin and learn a little bit about him. As a little recap, as DH has been apprehended in the Philippines. UK national, that's Derek Gordon Heggy, sa bahay na ito sa Cebu City. Dahil sa pagiging convicted sex offender. There hasn't been really anybody else to be a scapegoat. So Marty has been joining many panels recently. There's been some absolute golden clips. He's done his own little three hour live last night telling some mad stories from his life. But he sounds a little bit more like Jay from the In Between Us. Make your own mind up and leave a comment after the video. Also hit the like. So for a start, we'll jump straight in and uh, let's listen to what Marty has to say about how hard he is. But in my life, I've never had a man that'll stand in front of me and give me shit. Never. And still I wouldn't. I'm amazing in martial arts, PowerPoints, places. I can dislocate your thumbs, your fingers, your elbows. Trained in everything. I wonder if he can do that five-point palm technique, you know, the one off Kill Bill. And people say I'm skinny. How can I be skinny when I'm pretty much size of Anthony Joshua? Crazy to say that. Good luck. I'm going to kick your ass when I see you, Paul Venice. Not hiding from me. <laughs> Decker tried to hold the pads for me after three times holding the pads. He said, and people can ask him this, I can't hold them for you. You're too powerful. True story. Why would I lie about that? Ask him. Why would you lie about that, mate? I don't know, mate. I and I've got some party tricks I'll show you guys. I can snap a uh, baseball bat wooden, the, the handle end on my shins, and a uh, wine bottle so i'll do that i'll do that on camera show you some party tricks can also kick the ceiling in my house <laughs> <laughs> marty i'd love to see you kick the ceiling in your house and i can't wait for those party tricks with the with the baseball bat over the knee and that mate that is that is gonna be great content do you think you would have jdp i'll stop it that's just this, one of the most stupid things i've ever been asked That's only just at the beginning, though, guys. Like, Marty's got some great sportsmanship achievements as well. Gold medalists, world titles, championships, all of that. I'll let him explain it for you. Uh, this is when, from when he was back in school. Who was the world champion sprinter for my school? It was me. Until Damon Campbell beat me in the schoolboys' finals, the bugger. But he was a year above me and went on to win... Olympic gold, so respect to Darren. Hope you're watching, not seeing you for a long time. And he's actually a brilliant pool player, Darren. Very good. Used to play a lot of billiards together. I wonder if there's anybody that Karate Marty doesn't know. I wouldn't, because Darren, Darren actually, I got the record in the semi-finals. Oh, that was 200 metres. And Darren beat me in the final and beat my record. And in the final, I was crap. I come third, because I'd just done the triple jump, three jumps. I won the triple jump. And then I come to do the 200 metres. I was so tired. I didn't have any legs left. No stamina. Oh, shame about the legs and the stamina there, Marty. Literally, I, you could have made the Guinness Book of World Records. I think you was probably this close. Bernard Gallagher bought me this for my 18th birthday. Look at that. Boren Wood. Yonex. 400 quid, that. That's when I was 18 years old. Present from Bernard Gallagher. Thanks, Bernard. I wonder, I wonder if you just throw a random name, like, do you know Ian Woosman? Ian Woosman, yeah, my dad, my dad actually caddied for Ian Woosman. My dad used to caddy, and that's how I became a caddy. He caddied for Ian Woosman on tour, only for one or two games when his caddy was ill or something. Did you enjoy your interview with Dimitri? He's all right, he's a, he's a fine kid. He's actually going to start, start a job with me, so I'm going to try and give him a nice job, earn him some money. I like helping people. They've got Two, I've got three ways of making money, actually, but two of them are really good. And you'll go self-employed, so you'll get a load of family tax credits and benefits until you start making good money. So after about a few months in the job, you can be earning two grand a month without even picking the phone up. Earning two grand a month without even picking the phone up. Do you know, Dimitri's going to be absolutely ecstatic. When I got to college, all the... Black kids were my friends. Well, they were after a while. At first, they all wanted to kill me. 
they didn't like me because I went to their uh, Beastmasters where Pele Reed was uh, ran on the race course and it was all the black lads like Ashley Gishard, uh, Gordon McDonald, all them. So when I walked in, they hated a white go guy going in there with confidence. They always wanted to kill me, but then we become friends. Apart from one of them, the world champion, he hated me. We still don't get on to this day. T tell us a little bit more about the golf, Marty. I've got two putters there, Rolex, limited edition, Yonex, 850 quid a putter. Crazy these days, the price of golf clubs. Look at this. Look at this for beautiful. If you like golf, Rolex edition. Got two of them. Can I be a manager, Martin? Equalise, you're a smart kid. I know you're a very smart man because we've had cam chats. You can be whatever you want. Just been on the phone to my yacht friend that does uh, yacht charters all around the world. You want to see how well I've ranked him in about five months? Look at these shafts. Look at that. Google them who says I don't spend money. 130. 130s. Best shafts you'll ever use. Does he have any football friends like Jay from in between us? I've got some football friends that are professional, playing for United and that. Yeah. If you think we've already got some belting stories, trust me, it gets even better. I'll show you. I've got a Techno Pro and I hold it like that for spin. Very good at table tennis. I had my own table when I was about seven, so I've had one all my life. I've still got one now. Still got a table tennis table. I did get down to 0 0.4 at uni. I was captain of the Stratford, Staffordshire Scratch team. So I got to 0 0.4, which was pretty good. Ears are one for you. You got some right stories. What type of story? Come on, tell me what type of story. Unbelievable, but it's true. I'll tell you one. Here's one. So we're at work. We're at work, and I'm 23 years old. So it was a cold store, so you're grafting blocks of fish and that. And we're reading a maxim, I think it was called magazine. And we were reading what's the worst pain a man can have. And it says top 10. And the number one was getting his little fella pierced. So I was stupid. I would do anything for a dare back in the day and anything for a laugh. So all the lads went, I went, that's the most pain a man can have without passing out. I said, I'll do that. I'll get that done. And people are like, fuck off. No way, will you? So driving home. And then I just thought, sod it, I'm going to do it. So I drive to Manchester to the piercing shop and then say, can you pierce me thingy? And I got that done. So that's a bit of a story that's not really believable because it's just off the cuff. And I got it done and the pain was ridiculous. It bled for two weeks, I kid you not, because it's through your uh, thingy, isn't it? So for two weeks, I had to pee. I had to fill the uh, sink up with warm water and Savlon and pee in it because the pain was ridiculous. Could hardly walk. I'm walking and blood's just coming down all my pants. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, there's a story, whoever asked that. I know there's some big talk going on, but Karate Marty can prove absolutely just, just about anything, apart from apart from that hole in one that dies isn't on video. I could, yeah, I can prove anything and say anything, apart from I've not got one of my hole in ones on video, of course, but you can go in the golf course and... See a plaque with my name on. Marty as well has got a great sense of humour. He was on Expo's panel the other night and I had to clip this little bit. You're a white collar criminal though, aren't you? Right. A white collar. <laughs> but yeah. I'm only messing with Marty. It's because you happen to have a white collar on at the minute. <laughs> my question to my hero, why is Scott Check blocked? Why I want Blocked Scott, I like Scott. We talked behind the scenes. Yes, I did get blocked in Karate Marty's chat last night. And he's recently been served some papers or something to do with court or whatever. So I put in there, I asked him if it's got anything to do with crimes against fashion. And I got myself banned. Anyway, we'll get back to Marty telling his stories again. So tell us about the other accomplishments and the famous people that you've met. Who, who's one of the most fa famous people that you've met, Marty? Um... Back in the day, Margaret Thatcher, she helped me with an assignment, believe it or not, when I was doing my Bill of Rights, uh, my BTEC National Diploma in a, a sale, sale business centre on the race course. So I did get asked to go in Hollyoaks, yeah. And movies, 
just sort of one I could have been in, but I was fat and I didn't want to be fighting with my top off, not looking good. So Viking, I will be fit for the next movie. I've got, I got honestly, I've got so many good escorting stories to start with. I've got some good golfing stories. I've got some good general stories. I've got some, I can tell a good story. Oh, Marty, you can definitely tell a good story, pal. Yeah, I've played in the pool comps, yeah. I've won loads, won, honestly, I win nearly every, I'm not just bragging, if I go in a pool comp, I pretty much win it. Sometimes I'll have three in a night, I win all three or two. And I, I won the final, it was whatever, whatever, and the final frame, I got a 106 clearance and won a massive cup, and then took it home and put my baby next to it. That was nice. I'll always remember that. You'll always remember that time, won't you, Marty, that you got that big trophy and you put the baby right next to it on shelf. What's happening to your hairline? It's running off, lad. It's been like that for about, honestly, my hair's been like that for about 20 years. So I'm getting it done. I'm not bothered. Don't bother me. So people say, well, whatever, whatever. Most people at my age haven't even got any hair. It's cool. They look good. I think Marty must have left his hairline back in England and he's always wearing caps and hats, isn't he, to try and cover it up. I got him good the other day, though, when I've gone on his comments and posted something about him wearing art. Look at this. Good morning, people. The hat's on backwards, mate. What are you talking about? <laughs> so as well as being a moneymaker, top shagger, He's also got property, he's got land, he's got trophies, he's got championships, he's got world records, he's got very many tall tales. So now we'll let him tell you a little bit about the land that he's got over in, in the Philippines. We actually own six plots of land. We bought a lot of land, we invested in it just before COVID. So we're actually building five houses, we're building a big family house, and then this and we're building five other houses, we'll rent out. So that'll be like our retirement for life, isn't it? Live in the big family house, build houses on the other five land and rent them out. And then just to finish the video, we'll let Marty explain why he doesn't like music. No, I don't listen to music, I'm not into drugs, so it's no problem me living here. So thank you for tuning into this upload. I know it's been a little while and there was no Scott Chegg show tonight, but head over to the live section of my channel and we will be doing a Scott Chegg show last week. Hit the like and hit subscribe. Leave me a comment below and big up to Marty. FFM, top shagger.